Oh, hey. You made it too. Why the hell not? Because who could resist? It's not shocker at the bar, because there's nobody there at the bar. And yet, me and the Roxables down there, we've made it. We're at the pub, despite the rules and regulations. We're at the pub. There's no one else here, of course. But we here. We here, boy. We here, boy. And we're gonna have a fucking whooping good time. Fuck you all, you know? So, what have we got? I've got a, a pocket full of chocolate biscuits for her ladyship. And I have this wee thing here. What might be in there, Kurt, man? <gasps> what might be in there? Um, should we throw it open? See if any, any of you lovely people out there want to guess what's inside this little hip flask thing here. And the winner will get... Well, they'll get another six months of me sitting outside a pub, <laughs> drinking from a hip flask, trying to entertain you guys in this time of stress and woe and worry and anxiety. Bottoms up, y'all. But look at it. This is one of the most glorious days we've had so far this year. It is genuinely warm. I am, I am now sporting Arnie's top from Commando, Arnie's vest from the beginning of Commando. By the way, that's given me an idea for another video, so stay tuned for that one. <laughs> you know I'm doing these uh, these spoof videos, these spoof movie videos. And, uh, I am limited only by my budget and people trying to help me out because uh, it tends to be a, a bit of a one-man show, these things. You know, I'm, I'm kind of stuck on me, on me, me Jonesies. All on my own. And it's just, it's, it can get a bit difficult, you know. Um, but my imagination and my ability to construct these things knows no fucking bounds. So, look at that. The dog, even though she's got acres of space to lie in, and it's a lovely bit of comfortable cobbled stones here, which would be nice on her, her now muddy fur, which I'm trying to get her to dry off in this sunshine. I've been romped around in the, the mud pies. But, um, now she's, she's pulling me fair today. This is what she always does. You come to the pub, and even though we're not exactly inside, and there's not people around going, Hello, Roxy. Oh, hello, Roxy. Here's a little treat for you, Roxy. Go and have a chin rub. Go and have a tummy, a tummy tickle. No one's doing that. But she still manages to pull, you know, me at my fairest arm's fucking length, just to make it awkward for me. But then again, that is a lady's prerogative, isn't it? To make life awkward for the menfolk. And now she's beginning to to whinge and whine. But yeah, it is absolutely glorious. I, I said before, I think about, uh, in, a, in a different video, about nature seeming to restore itself. Uh, and it is, it is. The weird thing is, you can actually, you can taste the air, you can, you can smell, you know, nature's fragrance on the wind. It, it's true, it is true. Um, I'd rather things hadn't gone to such drastic draconian measures, but uh, there's another curfew breaker being sawed in half <laughs> by Bojo's Bozos, his Bozo henchman. Now, you know, you know, you know me, you know my cynical view on a lot of things that take place. But from me to you guys, I want you all to stay safe. Uh, even if I come across as blasé and unconcerned about any virus, um, the virus exists. You know I know that, but uh, I do think that they're using this as a, you know, a huge radar blanket with which to um, inveigle new laws, new drastic laws, which will shape and rehone and drastically limit our lifestyle from henceforth. And uh, and I do believe that, and, um, but. This is a time of worry and anxiety, and I want you all to be safe, to be happy, to keep things kilted, keep them Celtic. Do as I say! But don't always do as I do, because I'm the kind of a uh, screwball, loose cannon that can get himself in trouble. <laughs> oh dear, I can, I can, I do, and I'm sure I will. <laughs> But in the meantime, and in between time, you guys, please, take it easy. Try not to worry about this sort of thing. We've never encountered it before, that is for certain. 
even World War II, but it's rationing and the blitz and air raids and stuff like this has never happened before. This has never happened before. Anyway, but it's happening right now, and there's not much that Kiltman can do apart from like you know keep you enlivened with little snippets and videos and fun stuff now and again. You might find that you, you might get a, a sudden deluge of videos and then you might get a bit of a drought of videos. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how these things are going to work, how they're going to pan out. But uh, hopefully I can keep things fairly regular and you're going to you know, be entertained at the very least. Or at least think like, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> but then, you know, on the flip side of that, you can think, if that guy's having a good time, maybe we can too. Maybe we can use our imaginations and a bit of flair and we'll try to, you know, have fun ourselves. My God, how fat was the guy that they're soaring in half there? That is one magic trick gone horribly, horribly wrong. You know. Anyway, folks, you guys take it easy. Stay happy, stay healthy. Uh, and I'm about to get dragged away by the dog here. It's like she's realised, hang on, Dad, normally we're inside the pub, aren't we? Aren't we? So what's going on here? So, folks, I'll just try and put the phone down there. Hopefully it stays steady for a moment or two while I just toast you all. If you've got something alcoholic, it doesn't matter what you've got, whatever you've got, whether it's tea, water, coffee, I don't care. But raise a drink of a tipple to your taste. And that's all say cheers and we're going to get through this and we're going to survive. And we're going to come out the other side. <laughs> well, we're going to come out the other side. I was going to say all the better for it, but who knows? Mm. Folks, please do take it easy and stay on board. There's going to be plenty, plenty more. Guys, smile! Come on! There was a cortege, a cortege of guys on cycles just taking in the afternoon air before they go and mug some. Well, I would say some old lady, but there's no old ladies around because they're all indoors. They're being shielded, shielded for 12 weeks. 12 weeks, then at six months, then the rest of the year. Who knows where this bullshittery is going to end? You guys, be happy. I'm going to speak to you soon. I'm going to see you all one handed. This is the year, uh, the finger pointing aerodynamic team. The kilted arrows. £99.99 for hand gel? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs>